Hey, I'm Davis. Hello everyone, I'm Connor. Welcome to Mythbusters. Today we're going to be testing whether a tight-fitting pajama protects you better from a burn compared to a looser-fitting but flame-retarded treated pajama protects you from a burn. So Connor, what do you think is going to happen? I believe that the tight-fitting pajamas are going to do just as good of a job, if not a better job, protecting your body from flames than the flame retardant pants will do. I have to disagree with you on this one. I think the uh, the loose fit, I think that's just for show. I don't think, I think it's going to burn way faster than the chemically treated ones. Alright, so the, you're probably wondering why we're doing this myth. And uh, we're doing this myth to test this because flame retardant pajamas are required on all, all pajamas that aren't tight fitting. This is tight fitting. Now back in the 70s, the, uh, all pajamas used to be treated with chlorinated tris. Now this was banned because what used to happen was the flames from the chemicals used to get up and it would cause damage to the babies and it would give skin rashes to the children too. So now what we're gonna test is if your pajamas aren't tight fitting, like this, they have to be treated. Now we're gonna see whether the tight fitted will do better to be flame resistant than the loose fitted and treated. All right, so to make this as realistic as possible, we're gonna make some ballistics gel to act as the legs or arms, you know, whatever the pajamas would go on. So we're gonna start off with seven boxes of gelatine and we're gonna mix that with 56 ounce of, ounces of water and right now as you can see Davis and Connor are doing that so once it's done you know mixing it you want to mix it with your hand you want to make sure that you get rid of all the air bubbles and everything so that's why it's good to mix it with your hand make sure to just squeeze real tight and get rid of all those air bubbles and whatever you do just don't eat it it's not very tasty Alright, so right now Davis is duct taping one end of the tube which is going to act as the mold for our leg or arm, basically the body part that the pajamas are going to go on because we don't want any ballistics gel leaking out. Now we're going to pour the ballistics gel into the tube. Once it's all in the tube, you want to stick a stick or something in there. So we're sticking a, a wooden stake in there to act as a bone to make it more sturdy and make it as realistic as possible. So this is the final mold for our ballistics gel. And we have duct tape on the top and bottom to secure it and make sure that it doesn't leak out or anything. Make sure to clean up once you're done. Now we're putting it in the fridge so it can solidify. We're going to keep it in there for a few days. So this is the final product and what we're doing now is we're cutting the mold in half. That way we could put the loose fitting pajamas on one at, on one piece of it and the tight fitting on the other. So once we have that cut in half, what we're doing is we're peeling off the cardboard that's on it. That way we can just get to the gel that we want to use for it. So once that's all peeled off and everything, we want to get the pajamas and fit them on there as if you're fitting them on a leg or an arm. So right now, Connor's putting the tight fitting pajamas onto that, and then the loose fitting pajamas onto this. So what we're doing now is setting up our stand that we're actually going to perform the experiment on. And we have a few textbooks to raise up the Bunsen burner. As you notice, it just fell over. and. We duct taped it to prevent that from falling again. So right here we're testing it on the tight fitting pajamas. As you can see it's right when it gets lit, the tight fitting pajamas almost put the flame out. So you'll see it starts to melt a little bit and then the flame just disappears. And you could you could see more of the flame though because we have it constantly running on it and we're pushing it over to the side to test it in different spots. Alright, so enough of that. Now we're gonna test the loose fitting one. This is crazy because it just lights up. 
you know, the whole thing, it just, <laughs> within a matter of seconds, it's just all gone. So, this kind of says it right here, how the tight-fitting pajamas are a little bit more safe. Well, uh, so Connor, it's a little different than, than what I thought was going to happen. Well, um, after doing, running all the tests, we learned that the treated pajamas really don't protect as well as the tight-fitted. And um, I was wrong on that one. Yeah, although uh, both of them both of them burned a little bit clearly, but the looser fitting treated pajamas kind of just hit the flame and just went up in flame and they were gone and then then started burning into the ballistics gel. I mean, they both burned pretty well because the fire the flame was directly on it, but as you saw from the test, this one it kind of just lit up the loose treated one way faster. Took a lot more out of the ballistics gel than the, uh, the tight fitting. So this myth is confirmed that the tighter fitting pajamas definitely protect you better from flames than the flame retardant looser fitting pajamas. Agreed.